Okay, um, practice. Um, for I mean, um, session six point three, predicting the chemical properties of unfamiliar and unfamiliar elements very important for DSE. So we can predict the chemical properties according to the position in the periodic table. For example, for group one and group two, okay, group one and group two elements, you find the reactivity will increase the standard group. Okay, and for the group one and group two, you know group one is more reactive than group two. Group one is more reactive than group two. For the group seven, you find the reactivity uh, is decreases standard group. Okay, similarly, you know for the long metal, also for group six, it should be decreases standard group, decreases standard group. Okay, that is the similar properties for metal. And also, you find for for the whole trend, you find the reactivity should from from the group three, or we may consider it separately. For for the metal, for the metal group one, group two, group three decreases. Okay, for the group five, six, and seven, non metal usually. Okay, also. Sorry, it should be increases. Increasing down the, uh, I mean, across the period, you find increasing. Okay, for the group zero, which should be, okay, separately, okay, it should be inert, very stable. And also from this diagram, you find for the left hand side, it's a more metallic. Sometimes we use metallic or metallic character. You find for more reactive metal, okay? And uh, we say more metallic. For the one, long metal to up to um, from group five, six, seven, and zero, you find it is more long metallic, okay? So from more metallic, from more metallic to this side is long metallic. Okay, so too extreme. Okay, um, page eight. It's about forming ions from atoms. Okay, so far we have learned for the metals. For the metal, have the stable electronic electronic structure or arrangement or electronic configuration. Um, for the noble gases, is very stable. So for all atoms, may reach or establish or attain to their nearest stable noble gases electronic uh, uh, gases electronic configuration. Um, by gaining or losing electron. Okay, after gaining electron, um, gain electrons, um, it will become negative ions. For losing electrons, it may become um, positive ion. And the ion may be positive or negative. We say um, also an atom. We say monoatomic or single ion. For the first one, about metal. Metal usually outermost shell is one, is two or three, unstable because eight is the most stable. So they will lose. Okay, they will tend they they tend to form positive ion by losing electron. By losing electrons. Okay, like this. Lose one, for example, potassium is 2881. So it will lose the one electrons. Okay, and then the potassium will become 288. Okay, no change 
um, about its atomic number, also 19. Okay, so it's also K, the symbol, but it is not zero. It becomes positive one. We say K plus. So this is iron. Okay, uh, atom is uh, electrically neutral. It becomes positive. We cannot say at atom again. We say iron. It becomes potassium iron. Next one for raw metal, the outermost shell may be five, six, and seven. Okay, group five, outermost shell is five, six, and seven. It is not equal to eight, so unstable. Okay, how to turn it into eight? Okay, 咁佢唔會失五粒、六粒、七粒電子嘅，因為失得太多啦。咁所以咧，另外一個做法咧就係得電子啦。For example. Po, uh, nitrogen, nitrogen is seven to five. Okay, outermost shell is five, unstable. How to attain eight? So you can gain three electrons. 咁五加三系几多啊？咁咪变咗八咯。So it's become two eight. Uh, two eight. And this is still. The symbol is n because the atomic number is also set. It's also seven, but it have ten electrons, two eight. Okay, so gain three electrons minus, so it's become minus three charge. Okay, um, for the symbol on top right hand side and become three minus. Okay, we say it is n three minus nitrite iron and change the name of iron IDE. So for the relationship between group number of the element and the charge, okay. So it's for the group one, outermost shell is one, will lose electron and the charge of the single ion become positive one, and group two positive two, group three positive four, and group four will not positive four, no. Okay, 太多啦。失咗四粒電子咧，嚇失到第三粒大正三咧，好難再喺正三嗰度再失多第四粒，因為正負相吸咧死都唔肯失。啊，咁依家陣間話俾你聽，或者我哋遲啲話俾你聽，佢點算 ？Okay, for group zero, very stable, so no need to gain or lose electron, so does not or do not do not form ions. Okay, because they obey the octet rule. Okay, for helium, obey the doublet rule. Okay, for seven, outermost shell is seven, so gain one electron become minus one. Okay, group six, outermost shell six, six plus two is eight, so minus two. And group five, five plus three electron become minus three. Okay, is the charge. For group four, 佢唔會負四啦 ，minus four no， 又係啦，太負啦。咁所以你估到咧，通常 group four 咧唔會 form iron。咁唔 form iron 點算咧？咁我哋第七課 iron， 第八課咧學佢會點幫？我哋發現咧，佢唔會得，唔會失電子。咁唯一可以做嘅咧，就係、是、分享 sharing electron。嗰個咧要學到 covalent bond 咧。我哋去到第八課學，就係、是、covalent bond。咁我哋就會識噶啦。Okay, for the iron formed from one atom, we say simple iron or say single iron or say monoatomic iron. Okay, mono come from monoatomic. Mono mean mono means one. Okay, atomic mean atom. Okay, monoatomic means only one atom, so means simple, means single. Okay, for for the iron form from more than one atom, we say polyatomic iron. Poly mean many, more than one. For example, we have <coughs> we have um, carbonate. 
carbonate is CO3 to minus. You find it have one C and three O four atoms. So more than one. We say it as polyatomic ion. Or we have sulfate ion. Later we learn in chapter seven. So 1s and 4o, 5 atoms, so we say polyatomic, okay, iron being charged in, minus 2. So page 9, monoatomic ions, okay, for the charge is equal to group 1 to group 3, okay, so group 1 is plus 1, group 2 is plus 2, group 3 is plus 3. For the charge of the negative ion is related to the 5 plus 3, 4, uh, 6 plus 2, and 7 plus 1. So you can say like this, 8 minus the group number. So 5, uh, I mean 8 minus 5 is 3. So that is the charge. So group 5 is minus 3. So group 6 Group 6 is minus 2. Group 7 is 8 minus 7 is 1. 